dishes here. Uh, this particular video today, we are gonna be working on my club car onward. It is lifted. Um, and here recently, I've had a little bit of troubles. It's a 2019, we're in 2021, out playing golf and I hear a pop and we get out and look and a lower heim joint, it looks like a ball joint, uh, is uh, busted out. And so it wasn't holding the A-frames in together. And I thought, what the heck? We were able to find some heim joints just on Amazon, um, some UTV ones, and pop, pop that one on. Went out the very next time after getting that replaced, and the front leaf spring popped on me. And I, and I really was just frustrated, like, what is going on with this cart? So this video, we're going to put that back together. Now, I want to put some shout outs to people on uh, helping me through this so uh, my brother Trent at D&D &D, uh, refrigeration and transport in Billings Montana uh, really helped out working with club car club car is great to work with Scott Warren at Atlantic Electric is helping me with tools and helping me piece this thing together and then also Colorado Golf and Turf was able to find me this leaf spring uh, as you know during COVID manufacturing went way down and so parts are almost impossible to find and they were able to find me one, uh, get it here, uh, ship it at a relatively reasonable cost. And so this video is not really a how-to. You'll get to see some things, but because it was the first time we went about it and it was a two-person job, we didn't get the best videos on putting everything together. But, but you'll learn a thing or two watching it. So stay tuned. Check this out. All right, folks, we are looking at a broken front leaf spring on a 2019 club car onward uh, lifted. We're also going to be replacing this heim joint and, and then also this uh, front leaf spring on our uh, club car here. We have already replaced um, one of two heim joints, uh, and so we're hoping it'll go as smooth, but check this out. Step one is going to be to pop these uh, five bolts out. I'm going to try and show you the nuts at top that are attached to the frame. Can't get in there to see them. But we're going to pop these five bolts out using an impact wrench. And that's going to pop this plate off. And that will allow those springs to fall down. You'll also have to take the top nut of the bushing off and take the top bushing off. Be careful that your bolt doesn't slide on through there at the bottom. Um, but once you get those two pieces off, those springs will release. You can see the inside of the damage spring right there. Um, here we have the two springs together. Uh, you can see that the uh, helper spring is bent. Um, but when you go to put it back together, you're going to have to compress the spring or take it apart. So that's what we're going to do. All right, got to remove the tire to be able to drop this heim joint, which we're replacing anyway on this, so that this A-arm will drop down so that we can get that spring in without compressing it onto both sides uh, because we also have the middle spring to get in. So we're going to right now pop the tire, then do the A-arm. All right, we're really just using um, a socket here. Um, I'm rocking a 15 16 socket. So uh, what we've gone ahead and done is just drop the, the frame here, the A-frames, and we went ahead and tightened down the bushings here while we were at it and uh, put in the center piece here. Now what we're going to try and do here is go ahead and replace this heim joint. So we're going to run the 5 16 socket. I'm going to hold this with the crescent wrench because this will just spin uh, otherwise if we don't. So I'm going to hang on to this guy. Uh, this one is pretty good. The other side failed. Um, so I want to go ahead and replace it out with a new one. Um, and so let's go find a crescent wrench to hold that tight. All right, so this last part, I couldn't get good video. It was really a two-person job, and uh, you had to just put it back together in reverse. And so we had that entire lower assembly with the two A-arms uh, completely taken apart. One heim joint on the lower end taken off with one tire off. Um, we had it up on uh, jack stands, and basically what it took was one of us holding the assembly unit out to the left so the other could easily slide that plate black back up in the center um, and then be able to put the four bolts back through. Remember that fifth one we had already put in there to hold the two uh, leaf springs together. So it was just the other four holding that plate up in there. Once that was in, we could pop the heim joint back in the assembly 
put the bolt right through it, zip it up, and let's let it down, see how it goes. You'll see what it looks like here. break a leaf spring like this and I gotta be honest with you I'm just not sure um, what failed on this if you look at it my guess is that it was poorly manufactured and had some poor treats in this area maybe some surface cracks that rusted out um, you know you can kind of see uh, a little bit of difference in the texture um, and the grain maybe um, on there it really it's just been cart use just driving on the golf course and uh, these lifted carts you hope they have a manufactured right i love my club car onward um, it's been great just here recently with the front suspension it's been a problem um, we've got it put together let's get it on the trailer and let's get out on the course and give it a try um, 70 dollars after shipping for the new leaf spring had to do some go arounds to get the part um, we'll be contacting Club Car and, and visiting with them. They're great to work with, uh, really good partners on this. If you own a Club Car, they work pretty well with you. So stay tuned for more. Let's see how this works out on the course. Well, we're just pulling back into the house. We played a full 18 in this today and uh, held up great. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Just want to put a special shout out to Scott at uh, Atlantic Electric here in Casper, Wyoming. Uh, does a great job helping me out. Just a good buddy of mine and always there with the right tools and the right things. And uh, this project went over well. I'm glad it panned out. Bummer it broke, but we got it all put together. So thanks so much and enjoy your day.